Hey, what's up? This is Manny V, and welcome to Manny Vision E15, I believe. I'm losing count already. All right, so we have the Arica Chilean Challenge coming up with the wild card. Nick Gornell is what this is all about. So we saw what happened at Frontone last year with Jason Finlay taking the whole thing as a wild card. So can Nick Gornell do it at Arica? He's got a hard battle to face with guys like uh, current world champion PLC. Omri Laverne, Ben Player, Ryan Hardy, and the wild man GT, Guilherme Tamega. So let's take a look. Let's get to find out. Let's find out about Nick Gornell. Check it. All right, we're rocking and rolling. Okay, thanks for taking the time. I know it's really late over there. I don't know what your sleep schedule is like, but I'm, <laughs> I'm in bed by 9, and it's close to midnight there, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's been pretty similar to you. I've been surfing all day, so I've been in bed by 8 on the one. Yeah, so, well, I won't keep you long, but I want to introduce the world to Nick Gornall. Is that, am I pronouncing it correct? Gornall? Go, Nick Gornell. Gornell, perfect, got Gornell, it. Gornell, yeah. Wait, is it an A or an E at the end of your name? An A, yeah, an A. But it's Nell. Yeah, Gornell, yeah, I know, I had trouble my whole school life with it. <laughs> All right, Gornell. Nick Gornell, he is the wild card uh, representing... The Eureka Challenge. Yeah, who's who you were the wild card the under? Stealth Eureka Challenge, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you, better, body you better nail that, dude, because you're going to be hit up <laughs> a lot on that. So let's get yeah. let's get the basic things out of the way. Um, first, we already said Nick Gornell, and then I want to know age, home break, and then training grounds, and we'll go from there. Not a problem. I'm 26, home... Well, my home break South Australia, but I've just moved to the South Coast, New South Wales. And for bigger, better waves, training, well, as I said, we've had a month of waves here, so I've been pretty lucky. So with that, and I do a lot of weight training. It's been pretty hard with our non-stop surfing schedule, but me and Pence have been, yeah, doing heaps of backyard training. So a lot of cardio and um, circuit training, a lot of stretching, surfing and, eat, and eating right. It's pretty much... What I've been doing the last month, full stop. Uh, what's it like being a wild card at such a prestigious event? I talk to a lot of the top pros who go to this event, and this is one of their favorite events for, I think, obviously, it's most yeah. consistent, and it's a yeah. perfect peak, and the guys are amping on it. So how do you feel about being a wild card for stealth at the Arica Chilean Challenge? Oh, yeah, everyone will know exactly what I'm going to say. You know, it's amazing. Julia told me it uh, probably a month ago, just when I moved to Sydney. I got whacked with it pretty hard. And, and Julio yeah. is? Julio is a uh, um, sales manager of World Bodyboards who do stealth bodyboards, and it's their company who I ride for. Yeah, so he whacked me with it, and yeah, it was amazing. Perfect timing, too, with my move down here, getting used to solid ways, which coming from the Gold Coast is not much of a... Oh, you do get waves, but not so, so much heavy reef breaks like you do here. Mm -hmm. So um, it's all been perfect timing with my fitness levels and my wave selections here. And yeah, as you said, it's a pristine event and I'm stoked to be able to get involved and maybe kick off my comp, comp career, you know. I'm a fr known as a free surfer and I love my free surfing, but what a way to start. Eureka Challenge. We're seeing a lot of transition of the free surfers that go out and charge big waves and you know, do their thing on their own with a video crew and a photographer crew on, you know, in tow. And uh, we, Mitch Rollins is a perfect example. I mean, he spent yeah, several Mitch. years chasing those big waves and just absolutely nailing down his performance in larger waves, again, with, you know, the video and photo guys. And yeah. uh, you're, you're, what are your thoughts on these free, uh, free surf guys coming into the bodyboarding competition arena? Well, yeah, it's a tough one. Like, I always see it as the free surfing dudes get, well, we've got the opportunity to do the um, magazine trips, and there's a lot, of, a lot of exposure there. So, I've always seen it as okay, like, I like having the freedom of doing free surfing, and I get a lot of exposure. And I see a lot of us have been looking into the comps because it is such a big thing, you know, like you guys televise it, it's leading into the way of being a Red Bull sponsoring it or. You still, I don't know if they do anymore, but um, <laughs> yeah, we yeah, got, we like, got, we got you know YouTube. I mean? like it's, yeah, 
it's a big yeah, it's a big thing now. It's televised, so we're looking at that. And as as surfing is a perfect example, it's a lot of a lot more of a career thing for sure. If you're on the tour, yeah, it's the sport's only going to get bigger, and it's good to be involved with that tour. So we we do acknowledge that, but um, yeah, there's got to be those free surfers there. But I feel that we will all start to lean a lot towards the competition scene for sure, as far as a career. And what do you think about the venues of the actual IBA Grand Slam series? Do you think that has a, a like a carrot dangling at the end of the stick for a lot of these free surfers who or free bodyboarders yeah, that go out? Exactly, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Well, um, the Zikatella event last year was just ins- oh, every every um, contest you had last year was insane, you know. So um, that really caught my eye. And Arika being Arika, El Gringo, Zikatella, yeah, you hit it right on the head with the comps for sure and that yeah you're right people will be super keen I'm used to two foot beachy comps this will be my first proper solid way so yeah I'm stoked nice all right couple things really quick right off uh totally off the subject one that blonde hair is that natural no <laughs> all right what's your natural color hair uh it's been I've done it for so long it's just like a orangey Blondie goes blonde in the sun, but yeah, I've done this for a while. All right, and number two, yeah. totally off the subject, but uh, we'll yeah. probably save a few of our viewers from motion sickness. Is there any way you can keep that laptop steady? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll stop with my legs. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, okay, inspiration. Aside from bodyboarders, you know, the, the top guys who inspire you, what else aside from that inspires you? So, I think that, um, there's a few things. A lot of people with discipline as far as athletics go, uh, um, athletes go, for sure. My brother's, my brother, I've always, every interview I get this question, but um, I always somehow lean towards my brother. He's my manager, he's a, a semi professional Muay Thai fighter. Oh, damn. And the dis- yeah, yeah, and the discipline he shows as far as training, and that's where I got all my training from is just inspiring, you know, like he's a family man and he finds time to do a lot of these things and I'm sure yeah, there's a lot of um, sports stars I could mention but I always refer back to him because he's so in tune with his fitness and I've learned a lot from him, you know, and it's, yeah, just so pretty much anyone that's just really disciplined as far as fitness goes and juggling uh, a full-time job with that, you know, it's pretty inspiring. Cool, and plus you got a you got a full time bodyguard anywhere you go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> cool. And I was with the crowd that um, on the Goldie, that's for sure. Yeah, epic. Yeah, yeah, nice. Legend. All right, so <clears throat> once you once you heard that you had a wild card to you know uh, the Arica Chilean Challenge, did you do anything as far as your training, or and if you did, what was it? I. I didn't do, well, because I've been, I got told and I moved to the South Coast, right? So um, my training changed a little bit. On the Gold Coast, I was doing a lot of gym weight training just because there wasn't many ways. And since I've moved here, it's been pretty much waking up at 5 a.m. and getting home at 5 p.m., you know? It's just, it's been a month of ways pretty much. So my training as far as out of the water has been a bit more, yeah, not as full on. Because you've been surfing six hour a day, so but yeah, it's it's still a lot more cardio rather than because I haven't joined the gym here. Mm-hmm. So yeah, a lot of backyard training. So just a lot of your push ups, chin ups, dips, core workouts. Um, get get specific. Get specific. What exactly? Let's say you wake up and uh, the waves are today. The waves are flat. You want okay. or, or you want to so get was, you yeah. Get specific. Okay, yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I start off, I always have a juice in the morning consisting of fruit, um, oats, some protein. I always go for a surf no matter what, just go for a spin or gravel. And then say I went to, say, Glenn Thurston's backyard gym, I'd do, I'd start with, um, it's a set of six things, so 15 chin-ups, 15 dips, uh, 40 sit-ups, 50 push-ups, and then stretching, and then do that over four periods, and then, so that's your kind of weight training, and then beach sprints. 
And what sprints? Beach sprints. Go out and do sprints out on the sand? Sprints on the beach. I used to do a lot of jogging, but I've learned uh, from my brother once again that you just you can jog, but it's when you get your like, heart rate up with beach sprints, it's a lot better. So sprint and jog, sprint and jog. So I'll do that for at least an hour of the day, then go for an afternoon surf and then stretch at night and get a bit. Damn. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm still surprised about how much time a lot of the guys are putting into, you know, the, the training side of it. Aside from going out there and riding waves every day, there's got to, there's more to it now, at these venues, against these top guys. Because it, <clears throat> there's a video clip I saw of, uh, uh, Amore Laverne who, uh, Amore, sorry, <laughs> my friend's name is Amore. But Amory Laverne, I don't know. I, Amore, yeah. yeah. Well, he, I saw a video. I mean, I was watching live at the uh, Fronton where he just got annihilated, just totally just obliterated on a closeout. Comes out yeah. of the water, slaps his board out of frustration because he didn't make the wave, but then he gets on his board and kicks, you know, turbo kicks like if yeah, nothing ever sure. happened. So that's that's yeah. the caliber of strength training that a lot of these guys are doing nowadays, and it's really good to know that you're, uh, you're at that level, you're in that zone where... Uh, you got to be if you want to come out, you know, in the yeah, top, yeah. top, top, you know, finishes at this event. Yeah, for so. sure, for sure, man. That's a perfect example. Amory was staying with me for a week about just before Chile. And um, we exchanged a lot of fitness from what, from what we've learned over the years. And yeah, awesome. he's really fit, dude, really flexible. Most yeah. flexible dude I've seen there, for sure. Pretty crazy. Um, yeah. All right, so... Did you watch last year's Arica Chilean Challenge and what, if not, or if you did, uh, feedback? I didn't watch it, but I've been watching highlights from it mm -hmm. to prepare myself. And I've surfed the wave, but only a six foot day, yeah. Not too good, but yeah, man, the surfing's insane. So you've been, uh, to, you've been to El Gringo? Yeah, yeah, I went there 09, I think, with the Agent 18 guys. And um, we got one solid day, six foot, but when I was seeing the, like, the Tomega roll or that, you know, it's just, yes. it's full on, it's full on, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Awesome, all right, so, yeah. now let's go back to the riders, who motivates you? Motivates me growing up, for always, um, I like technical surfing, I've always, as an Aussie bodybuilder, you could imagine that, Ryan Hardy, Mitchell, I always really looked up to John O'Bruce. John O'Brien said a lot, like this is maybe, you might not have seen it, but there's videos back when he's charging Chopu 10 foot at 16, you know? Oh, yeah. He's known as the tech, he's known as the tech dude, but he, yeah, he's always been, I just didn't really get the opportunities that a lot of people had. He had a, other ideas, you know, but that's just life. But, um, yeah, John O'Brien is one of my biggest inspirations for sure. Cool. He's just the tightest body boy in the world, hands down. Awesome. All right. So you realize that being a wild card, a lot of people are going to be gunning for you because <laughs> they're putting in their time in the trials. They're putting in their time yeah, in those first yeah, rounds. Yeah, yeah. And, and then they come up to your heat where you're sitting pretty, fully re ready, 100% fresh. So yeah. you got to be on your toes for that. Let me get into what I'm going to keep adding on to uh, all interviews. And it's going to be the top 10 faves. So your favorite top 10. I'm going to start from number 10 and then we'll go up. Cool. All right, so your favorite, and try to make them short and sweet. You ready? Okay, let's do it. All right, favorite event? Favorite event? Canary, the Canary Islands. Cool. Favorite wave? Monument, South Australia. Favorite place to eat? Eat any sushi train on the Gold Coast. <laughs> favorite? Sushi. Favorite board to ride? Uh, my latest Stealth Pro model that's just come out. <laughs> Good. Uh, favorite pair of fins to use? I was always a Churchill man, but with the Stealth transition, of uh, yeah, they're amazing. They're really comfortable. The propulsion you need. So the Stealth twos are going really well. Favorite leash? Uh, the stealth, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's a stealth bicep I'm using at the moment. It's a nice tight coil and it's doing the job down here for sure. Uh, favorite people to ride with? Favorite 
of people to ride with. Uh, me and Maddie MacArthur, we always have a good laugh out in the water. I've been surfing with some heaps. Yeah, Maddie is a legend. All right, you know what? I'm going to change that to favorite person to ride with. That'll na narrow it down and you just hit it. All right, so favorite candy, if you eat candy. Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> I always find myself... When I'm stuck in the lolly aisle, getting Starburst fruit chews out of them all, <laughs> I get back to them. All right, yeah. cool. Uh, favorite drink? It could be alcoholic or non-alcoholic. Um, my mom, my mom. Non-alcoholic, just a, a great blended juice in the morning, I love. And alcoholic, uh, vodka apples. All right. And last and not, not least, your favorite model or actress? Natalie Portman. <laughs> Done. Didn't have to think too much about that. <laughs> All right, so there it is, the top ten faves from Nick Gornell. All right, so sponsors one more time, just to make sure we all know who uh, who's got your back. Sponsors are the dudes organizing this comp: Stealth, Stealth Bodyboards, Stealth Fins, SurfEffects.com, Surf Store, Agent Eighteen Wetsuits. NutritionWarehouse.com.au, DixonShoes.com, and that's it. All right, cool. I'm trying it's to make sure. It's gonna happen. Well, make sure you give them all full support, and uh, just give them a shout and let them know how you're doing. I'm sure you're already doing that. All right, so yeah. you got your training down. You got the wild card. Arika is just days away now, and um, what's uh, What's going through your brain? My stuff, I gotta pack it. <laughs> I gotta pack it. <laughs> I gotta pack my gear. I gotta. Got, there's gonna be waves in the morning, though, so I've been thinking about that a lot. Gotta to drive to Sydney. Um, yeah, man, I'm ready to go. Ready to roll. Get another little wave under my belt, and it's all sorted. Stoked to get out there. I wanna get some waves before the, before the comp starts. And yeah, I was going to go over a week early, but there's just a few things I have to finish up around here, but yeah, I'm ready. All right, cool. Well, Nick, thank you for your time. I know it's a late night, and I'm taking away from yeah. your uh, beauty sleep, but uh, yeah, right. yeah. I will see you in a few days. This uh, yeah. video clip was going straight on Manny Vision today, and we will have an audio podcast available of the interview as well. So again, thank you. Any last words? <laughs> nah, thanks again guys um, I hope I can live up to this wild card and put on a good show for the webcast for sure alright thank you very much and uh, you know anything's possible we saw what Jason Finlay did in uh, yeah. from Tone as a wild card so good luck to you yeah. and I will see you in a few days cheers buddy alright cheers brother see you man alright night.